and to apply basic Sokatoa in trigonometry. Number one, the triangle under consideration must be right angled. Number two, an angle must be involved. Since a right angled have only three sides, the side facing the right angle is always known as the hypotenuse. And this is the longest side. Next, the side facing the angle is always known as the opposite. And the remaining side is always known as the adjacent. Always look out for the opposite and hypotenuse first. Any remaining side is the adjacent. To apply Sokatoa, we just need only two sides and one angle. Unlike Pythagoras, where we need the three sides. Here, we just need only two sides and one angle. If we know the value or the length of the side facing the angle, and also we know the value of the hypotenuse, which is the longest side, then we are going to use the sine ratio, which is opposite over hypotenuse. However, if we don't know the opposite, but we know the hypotenuse and the adjacent, then we are going to use the cosine ratio, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. If we don't know the length of the hypotenuse, but we know the length of the opposite and the adjacent, then we are going to use the tangent ratio, which is opposite over adjacent. To always remember these ratios, we use so katoa, where the S is for sine, the C is for cosine, and the T is for tangent. To apply so katoa, you are either looking for a missing length or a missing angle. Here we have an angle. The first step is to identify the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. The longest side is the side facing the right angle. Hence, 12 centimeters is the hypotenuse. Next, the side facing the angle is the opposite. Here, we don't have a given opposite. That length will not be our consign. Having identified the hypotenuse and the opposite, any remaining side becomes the adjacent. Whenever you have the adjacent and the hypotenuse, hence, we are going to use the cosine ratio, which is the cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent value divided by the hypotenuse value. Next, we are going to substitute. Our cosine angle is 38. Next, we are going to isolate y. And 12 will move to multiply. Next, let's find the value of y. 12 multiply the cosine of 38. Then we're going to have 9.46 centimeters, which is the adjacent. And this is when you have a given side, a given angle, and one side missing. In this question, you have two given sides, but a missing angle. 
identify the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. But the hypotenuse is missing. Next, we are going to identify the opposite. The opposite is 5 millimeters. Any remaining side is usually the adjacent. We have the adjacent and the opposite. When you have the opposite and the adjacent, we are going to use the tangent ratio, which is opposite over adjacent. For a missing hypotenuse, we are going to use the tan ratio. Here, millimeter will take away millimeters. Next, 5 divide by 8. If we change this to decimals, we are going to have 0 0.625. Next, we are looking for the angle Z. Hence, tan we move to the other side and on the other side tan will become tan inverse next with your calculator we are going to press shift tan and inside the bracket we are going to put not 0.625 close the bracket and press the equal sign and our answer is 32 degrees we have found the missing angle with the tan ratio let's find the missing angle the first step is to identify the longest side which is the hypotenuse next we're going to identify the opposite which is the side facing the angle the adjacent is unknown with two given sides when you have the opposite and the hypotenuse you're going to use the sine ratio which is opposite divided by hypotenuse next centimeters will take away centimeters next 13 divided by 15 we're going to have 0.8667 to four decimal places. Next, we're going to isolate Q. Hence, sine will move to the other side to become sine inverse. Using your calculator, we're going to press shift sine. Then, inside the bracket, we're going to put 0.8667 six six seven then we're going to close the bracket press the equal sign and you see we have 60 degrees if this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe like and share to locate other helpful videos follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video lesson.